For the latest poultry, meat, seafood, and container shipping news, visit sfeed.com. Please hit the subscribe button. Poultry and egg industry news. The poultry industry in Europe and North America continues to struggle with the ongoing spread of bird flu, energy costs, and drought, which is reducing supply, driving up production costs, and selling prices to consumers. Almost every day, bird flu is being reported in the UK. France has experienced its worst ever season of bird flu, and a rising number of dead birds have been found in various parts of the Netherlands. USDA's Agricultural Research Service, ARS, cut the ribbon on October 4 to mark the opening of its new poultry research facility in Athens, Georgia. Cuba's imports of poultry meat from the United States increased by 41.7% in 2021 compared to the previous year. The country's domestic production has declined by 92% since the 1990s. China's poultry production is expected to stabilize at 14.3 million tons. Imports in 2023, excluding legs, are expected to reach 750,000 tons compared to the lower rate in 2022. China's exports are expected to grow by 5% in 2023. Industrial eggs on the French spot market is more than double the cost from the beginning of the year. Beef and cattle industry news. Beef prices in Ireland continued to lag behind both the UK and EU. The US 2021 calf yield was down 2.3% year on year. This is mainly due to drought pressure and high input costs for feed, fuel, fertilizer and labor, which is getting worse this year. According to ADHB organic meat sales in the UK have fallen 16% and still only have a 0.2% of the total market share. The main reason for the small share and decline is because it tracks around 5% more than non-organic meat. Lumpy skin disease has killed over 100,000 cows and made 2 million people sick in India this year. The virus has spread to at least 15 states, with cattle and buffalo deaths nearly doubling in three weeks. Milk deliveries in the UK for the first six months of 2022 were 1.9% below previous year levels, equivalent to a drop of 145 meters liters. Pork Industry News China continues to release reserves to combat ongoing pork inflation which is already over 50% higher this year. European pork producers cut back production and costs due to fertilizer, animal feed, energy and swine flu but optimism for exports grows as the pound and euro weakens against the US dollar. The US pork industry is urging California to loosen the 2018 laws, which defines the minimum amount of space that mother pigs, baby cows, and laying hens must be given. As of September 1st, there were 73.8 million hogs and pigs on U.S. farms, down 1% from September 2021 but up 2% from June 1, 2022. Brazil's pig inventory grew 3.2% in 2021, reaching 42.5 million animals. Plant-Based Meat News The plant-based market continues to contract in developed markets leading to JBS closing its Plantera plant only two years after it launched and Beyond Meat share price tumbling 75% this year. Vow opens the largest cultivate meat facility in the Southern Hemisphere that can produce 30 MT per day. Last year, Vow raised $6 million in a seed round to further research, develop and manufacture unconventional cultured meats from novel species such as kangaroos, alpacas and quails. Container Shipping News Long-term and spot contract freight rates continue to decline, but still has a long way to go before pre-COVID levels. U.S. rates are down 20% already, but some routes between Asia and the west coast of U.S. is down as much as 80% year-on-year, mainly due to a drop in consumer demand for goods. A huge number of new large container ships will set sail at a time of sluggish demand in 2023. For the latest poultry, meat, seafood and container shipping news, visit sfeed.com.